Hi, this is Darren from Martin Deerline Product Support. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Boom Air Purge. When you're finishing up in the field, as you're as you're finishing up on your spring and you're going to change product, another nice function that we have is the Boom Air Purge. Uh, again, you can get in there from your bottom of bottom screen. You can select it this way and go in through here by touching the button, or you can use your hotkey at the bottom and get in there from there. Your boom air purge, you can see is there's the button where you select it, boom air purge. It has the functions that you need to make sure that they're met. Boom unfolded, master spray off, and remote loading not active. Now when you're ready to start the boom air purge, when you get in there, as you select the page, you've got two minutes, and what the, what this sprayer is gonna do is it's gonna supply air for two minutes to your boom when you turn it on or off with your master switch on your hydro handle for turning your booms off and on. When you turn that on, it's going to spray the booms out and what we're doing is emptying the booms completely, uh, purging them of any product. So we're basically pushing that extra 40 gallons that you're still carrying in the boom once your sprayer tank is empty. We're spraying that across the field and putting that product onto our field rather than just wasting it on our, on our rinse. It speeds up your rinse speed as well. So we're all ready to go right now. Uh, we're charged with air pressure. That's telling you the air pressure, but we're charged up for two minutes. So we're gonna turn it on, and that starts our sprayer spraying. Air is blowing the, the product out of the booms and onto, the, onto, your, onto your crop, and that's what it's doing in counting down. And you can at any time, if you decide, oh, there's a spot I don't wanna spray, you can turn it back, you can turn it off by pushing the master spray switch and then turning it back on. This will spray out for two minutes, uh, but it's a beautiful way to empty your booms out, plus not waste any product. If when you were spraying through the field, you found that there was a couple of spots where you wouldn't mind putting a little heavier product on, those are things in your mind where you can go back and finish that up after, uh, just before you do the, do, the, do the boom air purge. It's not something you want to do every time in the field because if you're spraying the same product in the next field, you don't want to bother recharging the booms and spraying it out. So this is something that you do once you're done. For instance, if you're spraying Roundup and you're going to spray, go to another chemical, uh, this is the time when you're going to do that before you're ready to rinse. It really speeds up your rinse times uh, and gives you a better boom rinse uh, than if you don't use it as well. Very simple system to use. As you can see, it's counting down. Uh, we're going to do go through it completely, so you see the full two minutes that it goes through. But as the time is counting down, uh, you'll find that by about time by time you get down to about a minute and minute left or 30 seconds, there's no product coming out anymore. It's just finally cleansing and cleaning the boom out. Uh, but again, this works beautiful for your rinse job as well, because if you think about it, you're starting out as you're doing your rinse job with a boom that's already been blown out with air and clean, so you get a lot better rinse job on your booms. Uh, it's a great function to use. Uh, so now we're down to eight seconds as it's counting down, and it's going to automatically turn off itself. And there you go, boom air purge is complete. So now your boom is clean, and ready for a, for a rinse job. You still need to rinse your boom, but as you think about it, when it, once you've done this, how much cleaner that boom is and how much better of a rinse job you get.